What's going on guys? Welcome back to RC Voodoo. Today I have the C44KM. Uh, I've got an issue with the steering and apparently all of these have the same issue. And um, what happens is when you turn to the right, it's okay. When you turn to the left, it sucks the body down. Well, actually what it's doing, it's pulling the axle up. But when it's on the ground, of course, it pulls the body down. So I wanted to keep the RES V3 in this. So this does not have endpoint adjustments. So that's the only thing just to limit. I mean, that's not even going to help really. But I've tried everything. I've tried uh, longer servo arm, shorter servo arm, uh, longer horn with a more vertical or horizontal link um, tried it on the other side basically I've tried everything and this is a known issue apparently with these and uh, so what I've done I picked up the servo on axle kit so we're going to install this and that should eliminate that so we're going to try the servo on the axle and see if this is a fix. Okay, I've got the axle off and uh, there's, no, there's no need for the pan hard now. So we're going to put the pan hard link. It's the same size. Almost. I can undo a couple wands there and get them the same size. But um, now we need a ball because it came with the post on both sides. So I'm going to dig through the box and find a, uh, a ball in there. Snap that in so we can four link it. So I'm assuming these, these standoffs will go on these four, these four screws. Maybe even have to cut this peg off. I'm not sure. That's the pan hard mount. But either way, it looks pretty simple. Four standoffs to get it up flush across the top. There's the plate. It'll screw on. We'll screw the uh, servo mounts on. And screw the servo to that. And that should be it. I did notice that we may have to... On the bottom here the tray that the servo did set in we may have to cut this out we have to remove some of that because now the servo will be sitting on top of the axle and we won't have much much flex at all so this might be coming out or a big portion of it but no big deal we'll still have room for our esc up on top i've got it uh i cut out the simulation motor that comes in here stuck the esc done in there and just uh, glued it up with e6000 and works perfect no need to worry about trying to place it up under i did put my speaker under the bottom but that's uh that's what we're going to try to do cut that servo tray out go ahead and get this one mounted on there and find a ball in that'll fit and put it back together so we'll be right back okay basically i had to cut out the entire servo tray all the way back to the back you can see this little vertical piece so i cut that all the way out and it also had two little pieces going down the side. I just cut it straight across all the way out. And in the front, right up to, you see the little pegs here for the, uh, where the bumper attaches. Cut that out right up to those pegs on both sides. So cut out the whole middle. Then also had to notch out this in the front. See this big notch out. That way... The servo's got plenty of room. 
and I can still mount my ESC up there. No problem. Um, the the servo that come with this was too big. It was too big for the uh, the mounting kit. I don't know if this servo come with it or it's one I put on there, but I found the WPL uh, servo. This one, if you look on here, the brass standoffs. The screw comes up through the bottom, screw them in, and then the top plate, you got screws. You can see them. See them right, right down there. Maybe, yeah, there they are. So you screw down through the top for the plate and up through the bottom for the standoffs and then of course, just put the uh, the two uh, servo mounts on, and I mean that part was super easy, no big deal. So we're going to get this glued back in there. It'll sit there, no problem. Get everything put back together, and see if our suspension issue is solved. So I'm going to get this stuff tucked back together, get the body back on, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got it all back together, and I got um, the top tray back in. Like I said, I cut out the simulation motor that's in here. I cut way too much. You don't have to go past the shock towers. I don't know what I was thinking when, uh, when I cut it out, but you can stop at shock towers. There's no need to cut all the you can see i cut on both sides of the shock towers I'm not sure what i'm going through my mind there but uh to put your esc up here just cut out the stock engine bay set it in there but let's look under the bottom here and you can see cut the uh, servo mount on the axle working great still wish they had some uh, steering limiter even a dual rate, something. But that definitely gets rid of the, uh, also got rid of the bent steering link. It comes with a, uh, you know, this angled, angled link. When you drop it down, you can just go to a straight link. So I found, I found some parts to throw one together and That's it. So these work much better. So these little kits work. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get one if you want to get rid of that horrible uh, steering issue that WPL has. So that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take care.